last night, Applied Materials, the phenomenal semiconductor capital equipment maker, just reported still one more blowout quarter. The stock's been on fire lately, up 75% for the year. Well, pull back today on profit taking, I think it's a steal. And that is why I am thrilled to have Gary Dickerson, the president and CEO of Applied Materials here with us today to celebrate his company's 50th anniversary. I can't believe it. I remember when it was founded. And these are fabulous numbers. Mr. Dickerson, welcome back to Mad Money. Oh, thank you, Jim. Happy to be here. All right, Gary, you are saying, you, you know, I go through the, the reports here. You are saying that we are at the start, not the middle innings, not the late, the start of a complete new, new era of growth. There are a lot of skeptics. I know I'm not one of them, but you got to answer them who say, are you kidding me? It's got to be near the end. Look at the stock price of applied materials. Well, Jim, we just finished uh, a record quarter, our revenue up 34% and our profit up more than two times that amount. In the 50-year history of applied materials, there's never been a better time to be an investor in the company. The future of competition is going to change. Uh, AI and big data are transforming major industries. We see this in, in retail today, healthcare, transportation, you know, many, many, many different areas. And at the foundation of that technology is applied materials with materials and innovation. Our semiconductor business is hitting on all cylinders. Our display business, we see multi-year drivers in display. Our service business last year grew quarter to quarter 20%. So we're firing on all cylinders, Jim, and the nature of competition is changing in these industries. That is fueling our business. That's something we've never seen in the history of our company. Okay, you're calling the AI, artificial intelligence architecture, a war. And it's shaping up to be the biggest battle of our lifetimes. What do you mean by that? Well, Jim, many people talk about trillions of dollars of economic value being created. Technology is going to transform all of these different industries. And in, in, in the AI big data era, there are a few drivers. One is everything is becoming smarter. You have sensor technologies, uh, many, many smart devices. That is growing our business. About 40% of our foundry business now is coming from all of those smart devices. The memory business is also growing at a rate right. that we've never seen before. All of these smart devices are creating a tremendous amount of data. Data is exploding. And the memory business is growing at, again, a rate we've never seen. The profitability of mem memory companies is better than we've ever seen. And also, to really capture the value, you have to take the data and process it with high-performance computing. And the, the fundamental technology for high-performance computing and AI, those materials come from applied materials. So these smart devices, the memory technology, the uh, high-performance computing, all of that are fundamental Big drivers for our future business. All right, now, Gary, last time you were on, I gave short shrift to display. You did not do that on the conference call. You gave a lot of talk to it. I don't think people realize if you want, look, I, you know I'm a big fan of Lamb because you watch the show. But what Lamb has is very competitive products. But when it comes to display, it is yours. Please tell our viewers what this display div division is doing for you because the growth here is phenomenal. Absolutely, Jim. So uh, really, there are two major drivers in display. You have organic LED displays for mobile devices and smartphones. And there's this annual war for mobility leadership. Every year, consumers are buying those, cons those devices that have tremendous displays. And we have a multi-year driver there. The, the capacity that's currently being put in place will serve about 50% of the smartphone business between now and 2020. So that's a multi-year driver mm -hmm. in display. We also have large screen televisions. And uh, one, one great example is if you're building a bigger panel, they call it Gen 10.5, you can get eight 65-inch televisions on those bigger panels. <laughs> on the previous generation, which is Gen 8.5, you only get three 65-inch TVs. So uh, both of these drivers, organic LED and TVs, are multi-year drivers. Jim, our display business is up 5x over the last few years. Last year, our display business grew 55% in revenue. Next year, we're saying significantly more than 30% growth in revenue. 
And you're absolutely right. It's a unique opportunity. We're not competing with other large semiconductor equipment companies in this display business. Tremendous multi-year driver. Okay, one last question. You mentioned that your clients have a lot of money. Now, there are so many skeptics. I candidly am not one because there's been too much money made, and I have my eyes wide open. But a lot of times people say, Gary, when people have a lot of money, they tend to overspend. But you are not, you are seeing discipline on the part of these customers, right? Absolutely. Again, if you, if you look at the, the, uh, all the smart devices, Jim, you talk about this a lot on your show. <laughs> There's an explosion of all these smart devices, and this is going to continue to grow. The memory uh, devices also, that is growing with this explosion of data. They're also crossing over with solid state versus hard drives. So it's way more uh, cost effective with power and heat to go to those SSD devices. Right. We've never seen this kind of crossover in the past, Jim. So you have all of these multi-year drivers. And, and the last one, the biggest driver that we've ever seen in our lifetime that's going to change our world in the next 10 years is AI and big data. So you combine all of those things together, uh, people have a hard time because they try to extrapolate from the past. Right. We have some fundamental right. different drivers that are multi-year drivers in our display business, in our semiconductor business, uh, so we see clear line of sight, Jim. Tremendous revenue, revenue growth for 2018 and beyond. Well, you are with me. We are one on this. Thank you to Gary Dickerson, the president and CEO of Applied Materials. This man is a visionary and he sees it. And yet the company's been around for 50 years. This is not some small cap stock. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.